companies don't exist to break even. They exist to make a profit. So if we know how much profit we want to make or need to make to keep our shareholders happy, we can calculate the number of units that we require in order to make that profit. So this is called the target profit. So how much profit we are aiming for. So let's see how to calculate the number of units required to make a target profit without using any formulas. We don't want to be have to memorize lots of formulas. But we'll get to the formula later on, so don't worry. So let's look at an example again. So um, let's take our bicycle shop. Um, we've got a fixed costs of 2,000 per month. And then our sales price per unit is 100. So this is per unit. And our variable costs per bike equals 60. So then let's assume we said we want to make a target profit of a thousand per month. That's we what we want to take out of this business. So now how do we calculate the number of units required to make a thousand profit? So we want to know how many units do we need to sell or what should our contribution be in order to make a thousand profit? So where do we start? We remember from break even we need to sell a certain number of units in order to cover our fixed costs of 2000. So we need X amount of units to break even. Now how much does each unit contribute? It's our selling price per unit less our variable cost per unit equals 40. So each unit contributes 40 and we need to cover our fixed cost of 2000 in order to break even. So how many 40s do we require? So we said we divide the 2000 fixed cost by the, the 40 contribution per unit. But now if that happens, if we only sell enough units to cover the fixed costs, we won't make any profit. And we don't want that. We want to make a profit of 1000. So after we've sold enough units to cover the fixed cost and break even, we need to sell more units to cover the profit that we need to make or to contribute towards that profit. How many more units? Well, enough so that we've covered the fixed costs and we make the target profit of a thousand. So in total, we require a contribution of three thousand. And now you can see where we're going with this. So we need a contribution of 3,000 and each unit contributes 40. So 3,000 divided by a contribution per unit will give us the number of units we require in order to make our target profit of 1,000. So there's another way we can do it. So if you look at the, the algebraic approach, so we've got sales here. Remember sales is the selling price per unit times the number of units, so 100x, less our variable costs, so that would be our 60 per unit times the number of units, less our fixed costs of 2000, and now we don't make profit zero, we want a profit of 1000. So now we can solve for x. So this becomes uh, 40x equals, so if we take over the 2000, it becomes a positive, so there you can see we add the fixed cost to the profit that we require. So that will give us 3000. And now we solve for x by dividing by 40 on either side of the equation sign. And we get 75 units in order to make a target profit of 1000. So next we'll look at the formula and um, after that you can memorize it. But remember again, it's always vitally important that you understand where it comes from or what you are doing. Um, rather than just memorizing formulas and blindly inputting values um, from a question.